World Trigger is a story about Yuma Kuga, who joins the Border Defense Agency in the Earth invaded by unearthly monsters called, Neighbors. This story revolves around the friendship of two different species who fight against the invading neighbors, to save humanity. If you felt like World Trigger was an anime that kept you on the edge of your seat, we would like to show you more just like it. Here are 10 other anime like World Trigger, filled with great fighting scenes, character development, and moments that bring you joy because, somehow, mankind has lived to fight another day. If you enjoy this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe. This is ES Anime and now, let's start the list. At number 10 we have Gachaman Crowds. In the city of Tachikawa, Japan, a student by the name of Hajime Ichinos is enjoying her ordinary peaceful life until a being named J.J. Robinson hands her a note. A note is a mechanism that belongs to the Gachaman, who are warriors that fight in special high-tech suits powered by spiritual living beings. Humanity finds itself in danger, so they set their hopes on a certain group of Gachaman warriors, the G-Crew. Now it's up to the G-Crew and Hajime to stop a new threat to mankind, the mess. Gachaman Crowds gives its viewers a sci-fi feel with the special suits the Gachaman wear. You may think that the Gachaman suits are normal armor, but in reality, they are highly capable weapons. At first, it seems like Hajime is the damsel in distress who needs her knight in shining armor, but that is definitely not the case. Hajime's hyperactive attitude is very refreshing and viewers begin to notice how that makes a big difference in and out of the battlefield. At number 9 we have Attack on Titan. Mankind is at the brink of extinction, pushed back into a single city by the giant hands of humanoid creatures called Titans. In order to survive, what is left of humanity lives behind huge walls that kept these Titans out. One day, a colossal Titan breaches the wall and the city is rampaged by swarms of Titans. Eren Jaeger sees the death of his mother by the hands of a Titan and vows to eradicate all Titans from the world. Eren decides to join the Survey Corps, a military unit that fights Titans beyond the wall. In Attack on Titan, mankind finds itself at death's footsteps. Despite the dire circumstances, humanity tries its best to hang on and uses technology that helps them fend off Titans. Eren Jaeger joins the Survey Corps along with his childhood friends, Mikasa Ackerman and Armin Arlert. They meet many new people who have their own reasons to fight Titans. Though World Trigger can be seen as the sci-fi version of Attack on Titan, this show portrays a far harsher world. At number 8 we have Nobunagan. Earth is being attacked by monsters from outer space known as, Evolutionary Invasion Objects, who want to take over the planet and destroy it. However, the only thing stopping the aliens is an organization named DOGOO. DOGOO's trump card are weapons called E-Genes that are created from the genes of distinguished individuals. Shio Ogura is a regular high school student whose life changes when her friend is attacked by an EIO. After fighting back, Shio finds out that she has the soul of Oda Nobunaga within her. Nobunagan is an anime that gives us a glimpse of mankind fighting against alien outsiders. The protagonist, Shio, is quite different than the rest of her co-workers, but little by little, she begins to grow and assumes new responsibility. The fighting scenes really depict how conventional weapons won't work against Earth's new foe, but what does prove to be effective is a girl packing big guns, literally. At number 7 we have Seraph of the End. A mysterious virus has taken the lives of everyone above the age of 13 and what is left of mankind has fallen captive to vampires. Yuichiru and Michaela Hayakuya are part of an orphanage and plan to escape the grasp of their vampire captors. However, the plan doesn't go as planned and Yuichiru is the only survivor. He runs into the Moon Demon Company, a military unit dedicated to eliminating all the vampires in Japan. After years of fueling his hatred for vampires, Yuichiru sets off with the rest of his unit to take the fight to the vampires. Awari no Seraph puts humanity in a post-apocalyptic world where mankind has grown weary at the hands of the vampires. However, as the years went on, mankind was preparing to fight back. In World Trigger, man fought back with weapons named Triggers. In Seraph of the End, members of the Japanese Imperial Demon Army create bonds with demons who take the shape of weapons. The main protagonist, Yuichiru, holds a special grudge against those who killed his family so he will stop at nothing in his war against the vampires. At number 6 we have God Eater. In the year 2071, 
Humanity is at the brink of extinction at the hands of man-eating monsters called Aragami. In an attempt to fight back these savage monsters, people create an organization named Fenrir. Within this organization, members who fight the Aragami are referred to as God Eaters. God Eaters have oracle cells that let them wield the God Ark, which is the only known weapon capable of killing an Aragami. One of these God Eaters is Lenka Utsugi, whose God Ark takes the form of both a blade and a gun. The series portrays the fight between the Aragami and humanity's only hope, the God Eaters. In God Eater, the protagonist is part of a team, but has a difficult time obeying orders. However, he is willing to obey orders if he can protect his companions, since his only desire is to kill all the Aragami. Just like in World Trigger, God Eater presents humanity in trouble yet again. The only way to stay alive are huge man-made weapons capable of destroying godlike monsters. The fights between Aragami and the God Eaters are as intense as they can get, so be prepared for a thrilling ride. At number 5 we have Black Bullet. In the year 2021, a parasitic virus known as Gastria infects humans and turns them into monsters. What is left of mankind now lives within the monolith walls, walls that are made of Varanium, the only material that can hurt Gastria. To counter the threat that the Gastria pose, cursed children, female children whose bodies contain trace amounts of the virus which grant them superhuman abilities, officially called initiators by the Tendo Civil Security, are given partners called promoters, people who work to guide and protect the young initiators. These teams of two are sent out on missions to fight the monsters created by the Gastria virus and keep them at bay. Black Bullet revolves around the team of Enju Ehara, an initiator, and Satomi Rentaro, a promoter, as they go on missions to fight the growing threat of Gastria in their hometown of Tokyo. At number 4 we have Blue Exorcist. Humans and demons are two sides of the same coin, as are Asaya and Jehenna, their respective worlds. The only way to travel between the realms is by the means of possession, like in ghost stories. However, Satan, the ruler of Jehenna, cannot find a suitable host to possess and therefore, remains imprisoned in his world. In a desperate attempt to conquer Asaya, he sends his son instead, intending for him to eventually grow into a vessel capable of possession by the demon king. Ao no Exorcist follows Rin Okumura who appears to be an ordinary, somewhat troublesome teenager, that is until one day he is ambushed by demons. His world turns upside down when he discovers that he is in fact the very son of Satan and that his demon father wishes for him to return so they can conquer Asaya together. Not wanting to join the king of Jehenna, Rin decides to begin training to become an exorcist so that he can fight to defend Asaya alongside his brother Yukio. At number 3 we have Blood Blockade Battlefront. Supersonic monkeys, vampires, talking fishmen, and all sorts of different supernatural monsters living alongside humans. This has been part of daily life in Hell Salem's lot, formerly known as New York City, for some time now. When a gateway between Earth and the beyond opened three years ago, New Yorkers and creatures from the other dimension alike were trapped in an impenetrable bubble and were forced to live together. Libra is a secret organization composed of eccentrics and superhumans, tasked with keeping order in the city and making sure that chaos doesn't spread to the rest of the world. Pursuing photography as a hobby, Leonardo Watch is living a normal life with his parents and sister. But when he obtains the all-seeing eyes of the gods, at the expense of his sister's eyesight, he goes to Hellsalem's lot in order to help her by finding answers about the mysterious powers he received. He soon runs into Libra, and when Leo unexpectedly joins their ranks, he gets more than what he bargained for. Kekai Sensen follows Leo's misadventures in the strangest place on Earth with his equally strange comrades, as the ordinary boy unwittingly sees his life take a turn for the extraordinary. At number 2 we have Gate. Off-duty Japan Self-Defense Forces, JSDF, Officer and Otaku, Yuji Atami, is on his way to attend a Dujin convention in Ginza, Tokyo when a mysterious portal in the shape of a large gate suddenly appears. From this gate, supernatural creatures and warriors clad in medieval armor emerge, charging through the city, killing and destroying everything in their path. With swift actions, Yuji saves as many lives as he can while the rest of the JSDF direct their efforts towards stopping the invasion. Three months after the attack, Yuji has been tasked with leading a special recon team, as part of a JSDF task force, that will be sent to the world beyond the gate, 
now being referred to as the special region. They must travel into this unknown world in order to learn more about what they are dealing with and attempt to befriend the locals in hopes of creating peaceful ties with the ruling empire. But if they fail, they face the consequence of participating in a devastating war that will engulf both sides of the gate. At number 1 we have luck and logic. A hundred year war in the mythical world of Tetra Heaven has ended in the losing race. The Majin is in need of a new home. The Majin fix their eyes on the human world, Sepia. The human government is forced to employ logicalists who have special powers that allow them to enter a dimension with goddesses that help them fend of these invaders. One day, Yoshichika Sarugi's peaceful life is interrupted when a Majin attacks his town. Yoshichika tries to help people escape, and in the midst of everything, meets the beautiful goddess, Athena. In Luck and Logic, we are introduced to the concept of, Logic. Logic is used by logicalists to create weapons that help repel these new invaders like border members who use triggers. In World Trigger, our main protagonist finds himself in a team of individuals fighting for the sake of humanity. However, the differences between all these individuals create a very diverse team dynamic. Well, that's it for the list. If you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Also check out my other videos. Bye.